I am not a person who considers myself a big risk taker. You know, I won't jump out of an airplane. I'm scared of skydiving. I'm scared of heights. But I do think that risk is necessary and it's important if you want to live your life to the fullest. I remember walking into an office and there was a poster on, on the wall and it had a person surfing and it said risk. And I thought, wow, I surf all the time. I don't consider myself a risk taker. It's because people's definition of risk varies. Some people will think doing XYZ is risky. Some people will think it is not risky. Some people think surfing is risky. Some people think it's not risky. I personally think that um, skateboarding is more dangerous than surfing because when you fall, you can fall on the concrete. Whereas surfing, you fall in the water. Anyways, risk is important. And the reason it's important to not be afraid of taking risks is without risk, you're not going to gain anything. You know, you can live your whole life in this, I don't want to use the word shell, but I'll use it in this comfortable shell where all of your actions are carefully calculated and you're trying to just take on as little risk as possible, which is fine and it's smart, but at the same time, you have to take chances if you want to have the best possible life. And there's probably things that you're thinking of doing that you're scared of doing. And I wanted to make this video because I want you to stop being afraid. Don't be afraid anymore. Take risks. If you're thinking of, let's say, taking a class, maybe it's a math class that you think is too hard. Maybe you've heard the teacher is not very good, but it's the only time it's offered. Take a chance, take a risk. A lot of times you can even drop that class within the first week with, with no penalty usually. Take chances. If there's a job you want to apply for and you're thinking, oh, I don't think I'm qualified for the job. And then you think, well, I'm probably not going to get an interview. So you make these excuses in your head and then you convince yourself that maybe you will get an interview. But then you still won't apply because you're afraid that you might not be able to perform the job. Take a chance. Take a risk. Without risk, I mean, what is that old saying? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. It's important to not be afraid of, of taking risks. And with the internet, I think that today, it's, it's even more extreme. You have people on extreme ends of the spectrum. You have the risk takers who are doing really things that people consider risky and then you have people who are the opposite of that, who are just like, no, 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 we're gonna avoid all these things, we're gonna do things this way. You need to make your own decisions and you need to decide what risk you're willing to take, whether you're risking your time, whether you're risking health, which I don't think you should risk, uh, money, also very, you know, make your own decisions and take risks appropriately and stop being afraid right stop being afraid to take risks i think that is something a lot of people are afraid of doing one that i see a lot and this one's going to really perhaps hit home with a lot of people watching this video and you can disagree it's okay but i'm going to say it when you are a student and you're going to college i always think you should go to the best possible college you can go to Okay, now, well, if you're just finishing high school, you know, go wherever you can. Go, go to the best place you can go. And that's reasonable that you can afford. But once you get your degree and you're going to graduate school, go to the best possible school you can go to, right? Always do your best and take those chances. A lot of people are afraid of change, so they won't apply to certain schools because they don't want to change. They don't want to get an apartment in a new city. They don't want to move and move away from their families. You need to do what is right for you. You need to take risks 
and stop being afraid and take charge of your life. The fear of risk taking basically leads to, in my opinion, a life that is not as well lived as one where if you were to take risks, you would have a better life. Because with risk comes reward. And a lot of times, a lot of times when you're, when you're taking chances on things, um, the downside is really not that bad. It's just failure, you know? If, if, you, if you're thinking about buying a math book and you're like, oh, I'm probably not gonna understand it, buy it anyways, right? Sit down and take a chance, try to read it, you never know. If you're thinking about applying for that job, apply anyways, you never know. If you're thinking about applying to a certain school, apply anyways, you never know. Right? If you're thinking about emailing a professor about something, send the email, you never know what they're gonna say. If you're thinking about going to office hours but you're nervous because you're afraid the professor might you know, think you're dumb or something, who cares? Take a chance, right? Stop being afraid, start taking risks, and honestly, the more risks you take, the more reward you're gonna have, and the more of a fulfilling life you will have. Now, don't do anything dangerous. I still won't jump out of a plane, but take risks, and I think it'll help you. If you found any value in this content, feel free to hit subscribe. I have another random YouTube channel called The Internet Sorcerer. Check it out if you want. I have math courses. They're on Udemy, but if you get them, please use the links from my website, mathsorcerer.com or freemathbits.com because I've lowered the prices and it helps me greatly when you use my links. But take risks. Think about that, you know. Um, I think it can help you and I think it can help a lot of people. Uh, again, it's very polarized in the world today because of the internet, right? You have extreme extremes in all areas, right? There's, there's, there's a group for everything on the internet and so you have these extreme risk takers and you have these people who take no risks. Don't be a part of any of those groups. Be yourself, make your own decisions, take your own risks, live your life. Good luck.